CP in the stalls, uh, Maximilian, the back marker up front, Adamic, uh, really uh, hits the gates and uh, runs well. We have next to the rail, Dr. Robert in the blue jacket on the outside of him, his wheels are weak, but there doesn't seem to be that much pace on. And Maximilian was 13 to 8 at the off. And so it's Steve Cawthon uh, doing things the hard way on this inexperienced uh, horse, but he's joined up on the outside by Raw Talent. Wide in the pink jacket is uh, Curtain up, taking quite a keen hold, with Bluefield Bay to the right of those, tucked in behind them, April Cracker, and always remember is now the back marker, with the grey George Jett uh, just on the heels of the leaders, and they race uh, through the first four furlongs. Next to the rails, it's Adamick who just has it. Adamick with, on the outside of him, Raw Talent, that's in the uh, bluish coloured cap. Bluefield Bay, the horse with a noseband wide of curtain up just in behind them and Bluefield Bay now challenging Maximilian with a white cap has been pulled to the outside and now making uh, a tremendous impression on the leaders and as they pass the three pole it's still Adamick next to the rails Maximilian on the right the split between these two held by Bluefield Bay and these three are pulling well clear of uh, wheels of Wheatman who's running a big race in fourth place but it's now Maximilian who's quickening the tempo but Adamick is going with him and these two horses dueling and pulled six clear of Bluefield Bay and it's Maximilian who just has the edge over Adamick in second place and Maximilian Maximilian in the white cap asserting Adamick will finish second and up towards the line it's Maximilian coming well clear and Maximilian is the winner from Adamick in second the photo third and uh, Dr Robert just got up to pit Bluefield Bay for third place and the field string back to always remembered and the grey George Detto was last two so the result then of this George Lambton maiden stakes it's a win for number eight Maximilian in the second colours of Sheikh Mohammed, the 13 to 8 favourite, trained here at Newmarket by John Gosden, and despite that uh, very tardy start, came home very nicely indeed, and he braked on uh, level terms. Goodness knows how far he could have won. Second horse is number one, Adamick, ridden by Steve Cawthon, and it's a photo for third place. Uh, in fact, no, the judge calls uh, number five, Dr. Robert third, and the fourth horse, Bluefield Bay. Impressive uh, run by this Mr. Prospector Colt, and uh, bred in America by Mrs. Uh, Lily F. Webb. Webb, there's the white cap. There's George Duffield, his 17th winner of the season. And as we pick it up here, they didn't go a real great gallop early on, and that helped Maximilian, who was slowly away. One horse just to look out for, look over on the rails in the blue colours with the red epaulets. That's Dr. Roberts. He ran on really well in the closing stages, one to keep an eye out for. But at this stage, Adam Mick on the rails now. Steve Cawthon just giving him a backhander there with his left hand. He's being challenged by Maximilian on his outside. And you'll see this big horse. He just changes legs in a second. He's already got the race won. And the just about at that stage, George Duffield, all that he's really had to do is push this horse out, hands and heels. And really he's come home quite impressively, I thought, for a horse having his first ever run. And they've left an awful lot of daylight between themselves, these two horses of Sheikh Mohammed's, between themselves and the third horse home, Dr. Robert, who ran on really well. I should think you'll see a big improvement from him. But a nice performance by Maximilian and another winner for John Golston.